Hey, I, I wanted to talk to you about the grapes and the bone broth. Sure. Uh, well, wait, wait. Are we doing drawings now? No, I, I have to do these because we didn't have the heat. So, so you have to draw them and like without yeah. these fucking Sistine Chapel okay. levels. Okay. <laughs> Listen for a sec. I was thinking we do the frozen grapes in the bowl standalone. And then we right. pour the broth over hot table side. Yeah, exactly. That's nice. Uh, and, and this kind of looks like a chaos menu. No, it's kind of like a, a thoughtful. Chaos menu. Mm -hmm. uh, look, Claire and I, we were talking about it last night, and you know, she helped me realize that maybe I'm just clinging on to some things that, I don't know, maybe I just don't care that much about anymore. Mm -hmm. And this is good, right? Because this is what you wanted. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it is. Um... Great. Well, you can tell Claire I said thank you. Yeah. Totally. Yo. What's up? Why are you being like that? I just didn't know we were running our entire menu by Claire. We're not running it by Claire. Should I send my revised cogs to your you girlfriend? Send... Oh, she's not my girlfriend. She's not even your girlfriend. We're arranging this entire menu. We're not arranging anything. Our she's menu. not even looking yes, at the menu. Yes, This is what you wanted and originally, like and so this is what I am giving you. Cannolis. Cannolis. Like, what's awesome. that button? No, I fucking hated no, cannolis no, my no, entire no, life. Stop! I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm tired, and yeah, I've been tired, and that wasn't cool. Yeah. Same. I'm sorry. Um, and you know, wherever I'm fucking up, because you know I am. I'm. I'm fucking up. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm trying. I know you're trying. You're. You're doing these beautiful fucking drawings. You're obviously trying. We oh, cool. We back. We're good. I just think you need to decide whether this girl is your girlfriend or your friend that's a girl. Sarah. Sarah, can we talk? Not right now, Anna. Why are you acting like this? I wanted to pay. You don't get it. What is it that I don't get? We come from completely different worlds, Anna. I'm not rich. Like you, I, I can't decide that I want to be a baker because I like toast. What a fucking mean thing to say. Sorry, it's true. I just wanted to do nice things, Sarah, that's all. You never accept help from anyone because you're too proud. All I wanted to do was a nice thing. Okay, well, I don't need nice things. Oh, what, because you're so above it all and strong? You act like you don't give a shit about anyone, but really, that's just to keep people out. You did it to Sam, and now you're doing it to me. I don't keep people out. Yes, you do. No, I don't. And you're probably going to do the same thing to Connor and end up hurting everyone. You ever want to talk? Look at how you treat Rob. You act like he's got the plague any time he's near you. He's so confused. And you're too much of a people pleaser to break up with him? You said you wanted to be brave. That would be a brave thing to do. Listen, Anna, I'll pay you back somehow. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Sorry. Hi. You lied to me. For years. What was it about me that made you think you couldn't tell me? It was nothing to do with you. It was about me. I was 99% sure that you supported me, but that 1% chance that you wouldn't just scare the shit out of me. I don't know how you did it. 
I can't keep a secret for shit. I know. That's another reason why I didn't tell you. I mean, I hid it from people for years, and the second you find out, I couldn't last a month. I'm sorry, bro. So you're gonna tell everyone now? No. The team knows, and that's enough for me. No one's gonna say shit. I promise. Just one thing. So, are top and bottom sexual positions or sleeping arrangements? <laughs> it's sex positions. Unless bunk beds are involved. Then it's both. Huh. Would you ever fuck a woman? <laughs> no, I'm gay. <laughs> yeah, but like, you know, if you had to. Um, 1967 Raquel Welch. My man. Who's the hottest guy on the team? I wouldn't tell you. And you never guess. Bumper catch. Yes. <laughs> How do team showers work? Oh, wow. Well, um, I keep my head down and I think of global warming. Well, I know if I had to shower with a bunch of girls all the time, I would definitely get boners. I love you, boy. You can say that, can you? No. But you know I do. Yeah. Liam Murphy? It's Liz Fitzgerald. Last time I saw you, we were both pleasantly pissed at a horrible book party. Am I right? You know, it's slowly flooding back to me. You're friends with Julia something. Smith. Smith. Hmm. She's not an agent anymore. She died. She did? Jesus, so young. Or maybe she didn't die. Maybe she just moved back to the suburbs. I always confuse the two. That's right. She got married and had twins. Better to have died. I got my teeth bleached today. How do they look? Why would you do that? Red wine stains, darling. This party you mentioned, something keeps flickering in my mind, but I can't put my finger on it. Bad shrimp. Liz Fitzgerald, you said. That's me, the renegade, the rebel. Liz fits big tits. Yeah, it'll come to me. I'll try not to be offended. We have been drunk together on more than one occasion, but... My memory is terrible. Don't take it personally. Mm. So how's life been treating you? Well, I can officially say I'm banned from Crosby Street's booksellers. What did you do? I didn't do anything, okay? People are idiots. Mm. I'm banned from Boots. <laughs> I have a little shoplifting problem, all in the past, but for some reason I have a very memorable mug. But now I have to take a bus if I want to get, like, shampoo or salpidine or any of that stuff. Just kidding. Boots isn't the only rodeo in town. You pissed in the closet. I did what? No one could stop talking about the girl with the great tits. Thank you. It was so shit-faced. You must took the closet for a toilet. You ruined thousands of euros of fur coats. Well, I... Those old ninnies didn't know what hit them. You literally just squatted and let everything out. Those disgusting fur coats covered in piss, dogs were following them home. I laughed about that for weeks. <laughs> well, I'm glad it amused you. Some people stopped talking to me after that. Well, fuck them. Yeah. Yeah, fuck them. Cheers. Cheers.
Bye, Dad. Hey. Hey. Um, you want to catch a movie later? What was that all about? What? Back there, with your dad. It wasn't about anything. Right. So I just completely misread your total dig at me then? If anything, I was doing you a favour. A favour? Yeah, I told you, he's a total hard ass. You seem cool to me. Yeah, well... So what's the story? There's no story. I was helping you out. Protecting you. From what? I just figured the less he knows the better. You acted like you didn't even know me. So? So? So what do you want me to say? Hey dad, here's the stoner guy who lives next door and by the way, I'm sleeping with him. Is that all you think you're doing? Why do you even care about my dad? I don't. Okay, so why are we still talking about it? Us. Okay, we're talking about us. Us. Yeah, like you and me. Who's you and me? <laughs> Hi. Hey. Is everything all right? Fantastic. Clearly. Look a bit tense. I don't smoke. I won't tell if you don't. Okay, thanks. Open the night's getting closer and closer. It'd be interesting to see what you do in front of an audience. Cheers. Is Brandon playing a little too rough today? <coughs> What's that supposed to mean? You don't have to be very perceptive to notice he's a prick. You don't understand. I have a lot of respect for him. He's a genius. Genius is a little strong. Well, you don't know him like I do. How well do you know him? Are you sleeping with him? What? No. No. But you want to. Be very careful what you say around here. You don't have to be embarrassed. I'm sure you're not the only one. It's late. I'm gonna go. I'm kinda curious what he's like in bed. If you want, I can test the goods for you and report back. Fuck you. I'm only taking the piss, Nina. Seriously, Nina. Yeah, seriously, fuck you. Are you sure you don't mind me being here? I shall not make thyself idle, remember? Look, Gwen, There's listen. actually a service on in about um, 20 minutes, so plenty of time if you want to come. I honestly can't remember the last time I prayed. <laughs> don't be silly. Be nice, you know. Have someone sit beside. I'm sorry, Gwen. I can't go to that with you. I don't even know what to call it anymore. It. I don't know what you mean, Danny. Oh, come on, Gwen. You know exactly what I'm on about. Look. I left that house for a reason. You get that, right? Our parents. They're not right in the head. 
They raised us in a fucking cult. Do you not realise how that's affected you? Danny, you're tired and you're confused. I understand if you don't want to attend in-person worship, so go and take a nap in the small room and you'll think better when you're not tired, okay? <sighs> Gwen, look around you. They left you here on your own. You think that's normal? It's not, okay? It's so, so fucked up. And all for what? Because your best friend turned out to be gay. Stop. You can't, you can't speak about that here. You sound just like them. You sound just like Mum. I made a mistake. I should never have invited you here. You chose the life that you have. You chose to be a sinner. And I won't be joining you in hell. I chose a normal life. You can have a normal life too, Gwen. You don't need to live like this. Excuse me. I have to go and get ready. You can see yourself out. Gwen! In my friend's culture, people have a shaman to teach them. Shama. Shaman. A wise person. <laughs> And they have these rituals and ordeals, and if you live through them, you get new powers. And, you know, you become an adult. And it takes time for you to take your place in the community. How did you know? What? How'd you turn into an adult? I never thought about it. Is it sex? I, I guess that has a part to play. But no. You know. I don't know. I, I really need to know. You should ask Dagmar. I did. She said, ask someone you admire. And I said, Gus. And she said, OK, ask you. It's not like you're all one thing. You're still a little kid inside. But you grow up when you decide to do right. Not what's right for you, but what's right for everybody. Even when it hurts. Like? Like, don't fuck people around. Don't cheat on your partner. Take care of your family. Admit when you're wrong. Hmm? Take care of old folk and sick folk and poor folk and just try. Anyway, that's all I have. It sounds easy, but for some reason it's not. Nothing's easy. Like my dad, he... He didn't have to take care of me alone when I was a kid. Could have just given me away. People do that, you know. But he loved me and he decided to do what was right, even though he didn't know how. And even though his heart was broken. But then he fell in love again, didn't he? With my mom. And now we're brother and sister. I shouldn't have been so cruel to you. I was sad. And then suddenly there was a strange woman. And a girl in my house. And I should have taken better care of you. I should have realised that maybe you were sad too. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's all over now. Hey. Hi. You look amazing. I'm sorry for the spontaneous outreach. It was kind of. I oh, don't. Don't be. It's uh, not spontaneous. I like spontaneous. 
Well, I figured it was time to try to be friends. Friends? Yeah. I don't want us to be complicated. Yeah, I was just saying it to someone there. I, I hate complicated, so. Yeah, keep it simple. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think if we're going to be friends, we've got to establish some ground rules first. Some ground rules? Yeah, ground rules. <laughs> like that. Like what? That laugh. It's off the table. My laugh. Yeah. You need a more annoying laugh. <laughs> it's still adorable. No, that's not adorable. Okay, I have a grand one for you. Don't tell me that I look amazing. With your big brand doe eyes. Okay, I'm serious about that. I'm going to England. Yeah? Yeah, I'm moving. I'm up for a scholarship to Oxford in molecular science, and it's between me and this other kid. And there's this exam we have to do, and he's 14, and he might get it. But I might get it. I could get it, and I, and I hope I do and then I'd be moving to England. England, that's uh... I know. There's your receipt. Yes. So do we just go or... Do you give a bit of speech? What do we do now? Uh, well, I mean, we're sad to see when you go. We've loved having you here. Oh God, yeah, I've had the time in my life, Teresa. I hope to come back as often as my schedule allows. I'm sorry, you didn't have a great time. No, I didn't expect it to be a great time, Teresa. Yeah, I'm not stupid. I just, it's a lot of Shona's money. Oh, don't worry about that. No, I'm just saying, because I think the facilities could have been a lot nicer, like the website shows. I mean, in fairness to Anya, yeah, when I booked her in at first, it looked like there was a jacuzzi. Yeah. That's half how I convinced her to come in here, was there was a jacuzzi. Yeah. I said, you know what, worst if you're in here, at least there's a jacuzzi. Yeah. Of course, it ended up being a picture of a, a, a duck, a duck pond. pond, yeah. <gasps> well, like I said, this is uh, not a spa, it's a rehab facility. I know. I just don't see how a jacuzzi or... Or a plunge pool. Yeah. Would be such a bad thing for someone who just needs a bit of a boost. Come on, show. It doesn't matter. Any more feedback before you go? Why'd you say it like that? Why'd you say feedback like that? All businesses should appreciate feedback, okay? I'm in business and I love feedback. And actually, now that you mention it, yeah, and don't take this the wrong way. Just but leave it. Just so. give me a minute. You say you get all sorts of people in here and then Anya tells me that when you're in your group therapy sessions, you dealt mainly with addiction and not with people with nervous breakdown. God, is that what I fall under? I thought it was mostly bees, creative type. Don't be sarky. I'm not being sarky, I'm being sassy. Right, well, I'll punch you in the face in a minute if you don't stop. I actually have some practical feedback, just in regards snacks. So, I was thinking, mini bars. <sighs> no, I'm actually being serious, Teresa, because one day, when I was very low, I would have happily paid double the recommended retail price to eat a Kit Kat without everyone gawping at me, and ideally in a fucking jacuzzi. I'm sorry for cursing there. No, that's okay. Can I have the car keys, please? Yeah. Um, yeah. Thanks for everything, Teresa. Bye. So is um is she fixed? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>